everyone, Aaron at Redbird Speed here. Today I want to talk about measuring up the bolt pattern on this set of axles we have here. So first, I used a bolt pattern template so we can take a look at what the pattern is to begin with. So you can see right here, four and three quarter Chevy car. If you need one of these templates, I'll drop a link below so you can just order it. You don't have to go to the parts store and get it. I uh, do recommend this though. This can save you a lot of problems down the road. Uh, another thing, if you want to put two bolt patterns in it, if you're not sure what bolt pattern your wheels are, we can do that on the axles also. But let's get to measuring this up here real quick. So when you're measuring a bolt pattern, essentially there is an imaginary line going around here. So you're measuring this line here. So when you're measuring a five lug bolt pattern, technically you're going from center to center over here. So that's where it gets messed up. Because when you're measuring a five lug bolt pattern, you go from center here, center of stud one to center of stud three and add a quarter of an inch. So you can see right there, that's four and a half inches right there. So it's, this is actually a four and three quarter Chevy car bolt pattern. So that's where it can get kind of messed up. So that's why the template is nice. But when you're measuring a bolt pattern with an even number, you are going directly across. So if there was a six lug bolt pattern on this and it was evenly spaced, stud one and stud four, that stud four would fall in the middle of that imaginary line right there. So, I mean, you would get, like if this was a six on five and a half Chevy truck bolt pattern, something like that, you would get five and a half inches measuring across that. But when you come over here and you go off the center and you go to the center of the stud, you lose about a quarter of an inch. So that's why it's measured like that. Uh, some people like to hook the tape measure on the outside of stud one and measure to the center of stud three. That's another way to do it. But the template, tried and true, keeps you out of trouble. Like, I like that. So five lug, center of stud one to center of stud three, add a quarter of an inch. Four lug, six lug, eight lug, center of stud one to the opposite stud across. At the end of the day, when you're measuring a bolt circle, anytime you're blueprint reading, anytime you're doing this, there's an imaginary line going through all of these studs right here. So it goes around this entire axle. So this is five studs evenly spaced on a four and three quarter circle. So this circle, this imaginary circle going across here through the middle of all these studs is four and three quarter inches, five even, evenly spaced studs. That's how a bolt circle is measured. So when you're measuring your axles, be careful, get the template if you need to. Got a link below to buy it. Any questions on measuring bolt circles? I guess I can tell you, um, like Chevy cars, like this is a four and three quarters. This is gonna be like a Camaro, Chevelle, Nova, uh, S10, four and three quarters, very popular. Uh, on a Ford application, five on four and a half, like a Mustang, uh, like an Explorer, or uh, um, you know, those are gonna be very common, five on four and a half. So if like a lot of aftermarket wheels, people will switch bolt patterns. Like if you had a set of Ford truck axles with a you know five and a half inch bolt circle, like five on five and a half, and you wanted to find wheels for an axle like that. It's going to be very difficult. So you're probably going to have to go to something like a five on four and a half bolt pattern. All right. Any questions on measuring bolt circles? Let me know. You can give us a ring here, 260-301-2424. Get us at redbirdspeed.com. We're available on all the social media outlets. Drop a comment below if you need to, and we'll keep on going. Let's talk about some studs next. Have a good day.